Now what I'm doing is I'm making this little, remember the little circle here, the little, little circle? Now it's big, okay? Here is the Tropic of Cancer. Here is the Tropic of Capricorn. Do you understand what I'm doing here? Yeah. Everything is big now because I need to put more space in here. So there it is. There's the symbol of the Earth. And here are the signs of Horus and Set. <clears throat> Ruler, Exalter. Venus, ruler, Saturn, exalter. Horus and Set, boy and girl, always opposites, always. Nothing in this science, nothing is out of place. If Set, if Set was here, by mistake, <laughs> the whole temple of truth would fall. This temple of truth is perfect and immaculate. It's we that have to discover what's in here. We have to remember. We don't learn here, uh, we do learn, but mostly we remember. No one here is going to add something. I have not added anything to this science. I can't. There's nothing new under the sun. There's what? only to remember. Where's the or, or origin in uh, Egypt? There's knowledge? There is no origin. The origin is the universe, the one verse. Here is, this is the gospel, mm -hmm. as we'll see in a minute. There's no origin. It's, the origin is with light, with consciousness. Consciousness carries this because light always works like this. Light, the secret of creation is the way. This is the secret to all things. That's why the wave looks like this sometimes. Yin, oops, let me do that properly. The wave sometimes looks like this, yeah? Yin and Yang. Sometimes it looks like that. Sometimes it looks like this. Doesn't matter. The secret of life and creation is in the wave. This is the wave. The wave always starts with Jehovah, fire, tetrahedron, tetragrammaton, and this is cardinal fire where here we have two points of magnetic, still, white, undivided light. These are the two centers in the middle of the Taurus fields. And these are the two Taurus fields that Jan, uh, Johan was talking about before. Here is a toroidal field above, red, and here is one that is blue, the opposite. And we're going to see this in a minute. But here we have Adam. In Hebrew, here we have the, the dawn, yeah? Let's do this. <coughs> Mars is what colour? Have you seen Mars in the sky? Red. This is Adam. Adam means, we saw before Amster, Dan, red, blood, liquid in the body, water, because it's water also, because Mars, marine, maritime, is water. And in Hebrew, Mars is called, Ma. Adim. Adam. Santos. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Also in Dutch, uh, Adam to breathe. Adam. Mars. Uh, uh, Adam. Yeah. Adam. Adam. In Dutch, if people can correct me, means to breathe. Beautiful. So when you say breathing, you say Adama. Adam. Yeah. yeah. Adam. Beautiful. <laughs> It's the blood, it's the breath, it's the water, it's who we are. Adam breathes life, it's the active principle. Without Mars in the solar system, we don't exist. You take Mars out, you take Venus, any planet out, we're finished. Because we are sustained by the seven. Your beautiful bodies, cymatically, are being composed by the seven. By the planets of this solar system. The Earth gives you the body. But they compose... 
the body, and keep it cymatically composed by the elements of the earth. A Pluto? Yeah, all of them. But the seven is the seven octave of this world. Pluto is on another octave. He's acting on other things, our subconscious or our higher consciousness. Uranus and Neptune and Pluto. And all the asteroids, everything. But the seven, that's our body. Seven is matter. So Mars, Ma Adim, is the dawn. Dawn is Adam. Adonai. Adun. Adun is Adam. The dawn. So from dawn to evening. Evening is Eve. Adam and Eve. Or we say from morn to from morn to Eve. Morn is Mars. Eve is the ruler. Venus. Venus is Eve. Mars is here. Venus is here. Mars is the morning, the dawn, Adonai, Adin, red. Adam means red. Venus is here. It is the, the evening. See, the scales of Libra are here. And they are level. Eve. They are even. They bring the evening. The woman. The darkness. The yin. And she's always eating from the tree of good and evil. This is the tree. This is the tree of life in the Garden of Eden. This is the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, summer and winter, day and night. This is also the seven. The seven. Eve is in seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The Septimo, the seventh sign. And Set, Saturn, is also the exalter here, and Eve is also. So you see that whatever you want to say, seven or Set, one has Saturn, one has Eve in there, because they are always together. And remember, Sat Satan, always lying on the tree, ready to deceive the woman. Eve, because it's one and the same thing. <clears throat> so, what we have here, friends, is we have a gospel. The gospel is the ecliptic. Gospel, there are four gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, right? Remember what Johann showed? Four seasons, four cardinal points, Four elements, four elements in your body that make your body, which is the cross that you bear, water, earth, fire and air. And so what we have in this beautiful science, let me do all this again because I made a bit of a mess here. <laughs> Yeah. I think you can use that thing. Oh, table. yeah, let me try this yeah. thing. I don't know if it's better, but... Oh, look, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. to draw low. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Anyway, I've made a mistake. I wanted to write a whole bunch of things. What I'll do, sorry. <laughs> Let's start again. I have to write above here. This is low here, so you're not going to see it. And that's not very good. It needs a bit of water, I think. Okay. Gospel. <clears throat> Oh, 
goat spell, which comes from any Greeks here today? No? Dragos. Dragos Odi. Goat Ode. Goat song. And we get the word tra tragedy. Dragos, the goat, ode, song. Or universe, <clears throat> one song. It's the wheel. The spell is the wheel. And so every tragedy, when you go and see a tra tragedy in Greece, Sophocles puts a tragedy on two and a half thousand years ago, and you see they put the masks on, what they're doing is they're doing the goat spell. Who is the goat? It's Capricorn. Because Capricorn is the mason sign. The logo of Capricorn is I build. I build the temple. The sun is born in Capricorn. The sun Jesus on the 25th of December. That's Capricorn. And he is the carpenter. The carpenter is the builder. Capricorn says I build. It's the masonic symbol because it's cardinal earth. It's the bones. It's the structure. There are 12 systems in our body. Cerebrospinal system, respiratory system, digestive system, skeletal system. Capricorn rules the skeletal system. It's the solid part of us. We are solid, liquid and gas and radiance. And Saturn rules all the solid. The flesh and the bones. <coughs> and, so, and so when you understand this... <clears throat> when you understand this, we have the goat here, and we have the sheep here. The sheep and the goats. Yeah. <clears throat> the sheep rule the equinoctial axis. Together with the scales of justice, Libra. And notice the Ra. Here is Ra. Here is the Ram. Ra. Here is the Crab. Ra. And here is the Cabra. Ra. This is the wheel of Ra. The bark of Ra. The Ark of Noah. Bark. Ark. Ark of degrees. 360 degrees of Ark. Degrees, minutes, seconds. It's science. See, Ark, Noah's Ark, or Bark, the boat of Ra. <clears throat> and another word for that is rainbow. Bow is a boat. Ra, the boat of Ra. It's in an Ark. You see, it's all this science. So we have the sheep and the goats. The goats rule the solstitial axis. Ptolemy in the second century, the most famous of all astrologers who ever lived, explained this is the priestly axis. Uh, sorry, the kingly axis. These are feminine signs. Water and earth. Wave amplitude. Here is balance. This is a spiritual. Fire. Air of intellect. Spirit fire. And this is our balanced spiritual nature. This is our unbalanced material nature. Here is the king. Here is the priest. The sheep and the goats. Jesus says, when I come to my kingdom, when I come into my kingdom, I will separate the sheep from the goats. 